Hi, let's keep on talking about relative clauses. This time they can occur in the subject or the object of the sentence. Stay around and listen to the explanation. Relative clauses and noun clauses. A relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of a sentence. Something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. The thing that I can't stand is co-workers who leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. The thing I can't stand is co-workers that leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. Some sentences use a relative clause and a noun clause beginning with a question word such as when. The thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. One thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things. What is a relative clause or adjective clause? Relative or adjective clauses provide information about a noun or pronoun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. Relative clauses, use. Relative or adjective clauses give additional information about a noun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. They are dependent clauses. Relative clauses help connect two separate ideas. For example, that is the school. I went to that school as a boy. That is the school which I went to as a boy. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns introduce relative clauses. Relative clauses tell us which person or thing the speaker means or refers to. Who is the subject, whom the object, meaning people. Which, whose, refers to things. That, instead of who, whom or which, where, when, and why, gives the reason why. They are relative adverbs. Remember, the pronoun refers to the same thing as the relative pronoun. Example, the students are smart. They are learning relative clauses. The students who are learning relative clauses are smart. Who is used instead of they? Let's go over this example. One thing that I hate is people who talk during a movie. One thing is the subject of the main clause. Leaving us with that I hate is the relative clause that describes the subject. Noun clauses. A noun clause is a sentence inside a sentence. A noun clause gives more detailed description of a subject or object of a sentence. Let's take a look at these words. They are noun clause markers or connectors. That, if, whether, wh words, how, what, when, where, which, who, whom, whose, why. wh ever words, however, whatever, whenever, wherever, whichever, whoever, which is informal, and whomever, which is formal. We want you to note, except for that, noun clause markers cannot be omitted. Only that can be omitted, but it can be omitted only if it is not the first word in a sentence. Let's take a look at these sentences. Subject, noun clauses. Noun clauses are subjects of verbs. That George learned how to swim is a miracle. Whether Fred can get a better job is not certain. What Mary said confused her parents. However you learn to spell is okay with me. Notice the structure. Subject noun clause plus verb plus object. Object noun clauses. Noun clauses as objects of verbs. We didn't know the bill would jump. Can you tell me if Fred is here? I don't know where he is. George eats whatever is on his plate. Again, notice the structure. Subject plus verb 
plus object noun clause. Read this sentence with me. One thing that bugs me is when people talk during a movie. Let's work with this sentence. There are two clauses in this sentence. The bugs me is a relative clause. And when people talk during a movie is a noun clause. Now type examples using relative clauses in the subject and in the object of a sentence.